And here is my take for the week, entitled, Who We Tell the President. There are things that the public are interested in, but seems not to be getting the due attention of the president. At least there is no communication about these things. For instance, the restoration of the social investment program. Over a month ago, it was announced that it will resume urgently, even as an emergency. It is now April, and this has not been restored. Who will tell the president? Specifically in February, the coordinating minister of the economy, Mr. Wale Edu, said restarting the direct cash transfer was crucial to tackling food prices, especially elevated prices, and also government's ability, that it will help government's ability to provide purchasing power to at least 60 million people who are less well off. Has this been done? Who will tell the president that the investigation of the suspended Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Beta Hedu, is taking too long? How long will it take for a decision to be taken on the report of the EFCC? And how long will it take to have a substantive minister named back to that ministry? Or has the president approved the idea to move some of the programs to the Ministry of Finance? Who will tell the president that the emergency economic intervention bill is still lying fallow on someone's desk somewhere? Uh, this is a bill that attempts to codify some of the tax reform proposal from the Presidential Tax Reform Committee alongside other urgent economic measures. When is that bill going to be sent to the National Assembly? Members of the National Assembly are saying that they have, they, they've had no movement on this bill since November. Who will tell the president this? Who will tell the president that now that the CBN is able to get the Naira to some stability, it's time to tax luxury items that are being imported and cut off our heavy importation? so that we can save the Naira, so that we can spend less for in exchange. India did a similar thing when Mahatma Gandhi said, and I quote, if India cannot feed herself, let India starve. If India cannot clothe herself, let India go naked, unquote. It was at the time when India was facing such a crisis as we are facing now in Nigeria. Tough times demand tough decisions. Who will tell the president that instead of an investigation into an allegation of smuggling by known people that has been reported by journalists, especially the Foundation for Investigative Journalism, what we see is an attempt to criminalize journalism instead of our authorities to investigate such allegations that are already reported publicly. What we are being told is that there are petitions against the journalists. Who will tell the president that the attempts to intimidate the press is not in Nigeria's best interest and that it creates a poor reflection on the president that we all know is a true Democrat? If the smuggling allegations that Shoyombo has reported are inaccurate and false, government should tell us. Going after him and the board of FIJ is not the way to go. Who will tell the president that all of these are happening under his watch and that it does have implications for his legacy? One day, four years, eight years maximum, he will be a former president. What is going to be said about attempts by people under him to intimidate journalists? Who will tell the president that for months since Nigeria has withdrawn ambassadors from our embassies abroad, their replacements have not been announced? And now, our embassies are operating below capacity without substantive envoys. Who will tell the president that in diplomacy, in the world of diplomacy, the place of a properly accredited ambassador cannot be compared to anyone below him acting in that capacity? Who will tell the president that this is not in the best interest of Nigeria's foreign policy? These are some of the issues that we hope that somebody who has the president here will bring to his attention. At the end of the day, it is about what the president does and what he does not do. And there you have my take for the week.